For more on that incident, let's talk to our correspondent Andy Lee in Taipei. Andy, we know that uh, the local authority has just held a press conference. Uh, tell us uh, the highlights from that conference. Yes, um, the police have just held a press conference, and we were told that police are focusing on a 40-year-old man. At the time, he was holding a black bag, and after he left the train, the train blasted up, and the entire carriage of the train engulfed into fire, and people ran. At that time, the train carriage was full of passengers. This train number is number 1258, and it stopped at Songshan, just about to stop at Songshan when the attack happened. Now, police are asking people to help identify this 40-year-old suspect. They are still trying to locate the suspect as we speak. So police investigation are underway right now. And in addition to that, police are increasing their security on all the MRT, rapid transit systems, and train stations here in Taiwan, and of course focusing on Taipei. Pandem. Well, Andy, how do local people respond to this uh, incident? Oh, yes, that's a very good question. Now, um, including me, who live here in Taiwan, we are all very scared. At first, we thought it was a terrorist attack, but now the police are saying that they are not categorizing it as a terrorist attack. They are categorizing it as a planned attack. Now, people are scared, of course. People do not feel safe. When we now board the train, board the bus, board the MRT, we don't feel safe. And, of course, um, if we find a bag that has been left alone, we would, would be even more scared, and people would just call the police right away. So people feel as if they are living in danger right now. And in addition, Pandan, the police have already discovered the tools that the suspect has been using to create this so-called IED, improvised explosive device, or simply bomb. So um, the police are also saying that they are suspecting that more than one person would be responsible for this blast. Pandan. Thank you very much. Our correspondent, Andy Lee, Thanks, in man. Taipei.